Hello and welcome back to Scotty Fullstack. I'm Scotty and today we're going to be looking at simple notification service sending an email to me, uh, a link to the NHC National Hurricane Center website with the report of where Ian is headed because uh, right now I'm, I'm recording this in the hurricane. Um, I have the, the, the bands coming at me right now. Um, so I thought this was just going to be a simple, easy one to do, and let's jump right to it. Here, we've done this sort of thing before, so I just preset this up. This is just a security group. You should open one up. I called mine NHC server, and it's got uh, inbound rule for port 22, so SSH, to allow us to access the EC2 image that we put up. Um, so with that said, we can jump over to the EC2 dashboard. We can uh, create a new instance, so launch instance. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to name mine like NHC updates, and then I'm going to use the Amazon Linux AWS free tier is fine, eligible, uh, T2 micro is great. I already have a key set up. If you don't have one, make an IM user, make a new key pair. You can start fresh, and then we'll select our existing security group here, which is what I just spoke about, and we can go ahead and launch. While that is launching, let's head on over to the Simple Notification Service Dashboard. And uh, I want to go ahead and create a new topic. And we can call this one, um, like again, like NHC Updates, something like that. Next up, uh, standard NHC Updates, display name. You can just do, again, NHC Updates. Uh, and then leave everything else default. Okay, so that is created. Let's go ahead and create a new subscription for this for where we should send these alerts. Protocol here is email. Endpoint is gonna be my email. So like team at scottyfullstack.com. Okay, and we can go ahead and create that subscription. Now at this point, I'm gonna pull out my phone because um, I have my email there easiest. Um, and we gotta confirm that we got the email notification. So heading over to my email here, um, I can see that I have an NHC updates. So I click on that. And here I can confirm my subscription. It'll take me over to a new tab and say, you have successfully subscribed. Okay, so I'm now subscribed to these notifications via my email. All right, so if I go ahead and go over to my dashboard, my topics, and I click on my new topic, here you can see I am confirmed. So we are ready to roll with the email notification. Uh, we're going to need this ARN here in just a minute, so hang on to that. Let's head back over to our EC2 and check out our running instances. And we have this one, public IP address. Um, so we can go ahead and open a new terminal and just SSH to that. So dash I, set key for me, and then EC2 user at, and paste my IP. Yes. Okay, so we are in, and now that we're in our EC2, we wanna create a cron tab. Okay, so before I jump to the cron tab here, why don't we jump over to crontab.guru, uh, where if you have any confusion about what a cron tab is, you can always play it out here. It'll tell you exactly where you're gonna run this thing. So we have in the first column, minute, hour, day, month, month, and day of the week. Um, and so on the minute, I'm just going to do for now, I'm gonna probably add another one, but I'm gonna do zero because I wanna alert this at the beginning of every hour. Uh, and then we have our hour. Now this is UTC and our Linux box is in UTC. I am Eastern time right now, so you're gonna wanna translate this however you need to make the times match up to what you want. Um, but for this example, since we know the NHC updates at 5, 11, 5, and 11, I'm gonna go ahead and put those in. So starting with 11 p.m. because that would be the next day at the third hour uh, for UTC to me. Um, the next one, we're gonna do a comma here to put another hour in. Uh, the next one is going to be nine. So that would be the, the 5 a.m. The next one here will be 15 which is the next 11, p, uh, 11 a.m. And then finally, 5 p.m. is 21. Um, now I'm going to add another one here uh, for, for the time that I'm actually recording this video. So I'm gonna do a, uh, let's just say, probably a 9 p.m. here. So let's go back here. So nine, in this case, would be 1 a.m. UTC of the next day. And um, I will put a minute on there here soon. I don't want to catch it too quick. 
Um, well, let's go ahead and do it. So let's copy this. This is pretty much done. Let's put in um, a 45, maybe. So before I just update this cron tab, I do want to quickly just add my AWS credentials. So I'm going to start doing that. Uh, so AWS configure. And here I'm going to pause the video and enter my creds. You should do the same. Uh, and then we'll sync back here in just a moment. So it starts with the access key. Okay, so I've got my credentials plugged in now, and now we can update that cron tab, dash E. And so again, I'm going to um, paste this, and I might, we'll see, I might end up updating my time here uh, if needed, but let's grab that timing and paste it here, and then do a user bin bash command as our command to run at those times. And here I wanna just do um, first AWS, uh, SNS publish dash dash topic dash ARN and this is our ARN from the simple notification service so let's grab that go back paste it and then dash dash message and this message I'll put in single quotes so I'm going to say see the latest uh, Ian track here and I'm going to go ahead and grab this from the National Hurricane Center and paste that here. All right, and so that should be it for our command. So I'm going to go ahead and save and quit that. And let's see, I think my time is coming up here. So I got about three minutes. I'll pause it and we'll sync back here once my message sends. And there it is. So as you can see here, it just came through at 945. And here to see the latest Ian track here and click on the link and it takes us over to the NHC site. And so um, there I am right left and north of the big H symbol. Um, so I'm still getting those bands, but um, so now this will send again at 11 PM is the next one. And then another 5 AM and then 11 a.m. and by then the storm is pretty well past us so at this point you know it's just a fun project uh, nothing really too crazy here that's not already been professionally done so um Thanks for joining me on this one. Uh, the, I think the point that I would like to make here is use these Amazon tools and services to just make little fun projects that um, you can make useful in your daily life. And uh, no matter how simple they may be, and just enjoy the process of learning. So thank you for joining me. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe and let me know in the comments how you feel about this project or if you'd like to see something else. Um, so thank you so much for joining me and I hope that you have a great day and please stay safe out there if you're in Florida and your life has been changed drastically. Um, I hope that the community will come together and we will be able to provide for you in this time. So thank you so much for joining me and have a great day and best wishes to you and your family.